The trees were shifting shadows against the black night as he headed downhill, moving faster and faster, placing his feet carefully in case he landed on a root. Thinking of the river, he had no warning when a shadow appeared directly in front of him, and he ran face first into a wall. As he fell heavily to the ground, he was dimly aware that his feet hadn't hit anything, only his head. The pain was overwhelming, and he lay on his back while he struggled to see past the lights flashing behind his eyes. He clutched at the sparse grass of the orchard, then rolled onto his stomach and pushed himself to his knees, trying not to be sick. He crawled to a nearby olive tree, following its roots through the hard dirt, and holding it, he got to his feet. The night, which had been dark before, had become impenetrably black. With one arm still around the tree, he waved a hand hesitantly through the darkness, until he felt it strike something solid. It was a board, he realized slowly, stretching between the trees. He pushed on it. It was nailed in place. It was just at the height of his head, and a stone wall couldn't have been more effective. He was wondering why it was there when he heard someone uphill shout. He managed only a few uneven steps away from the tree, not even certain of his direction, before the first of the dogs reached him. It jumped onto his back, and then another dog hit him behind the knees. He was driven back into the grass, feeling the dry, hard dirt underneath it. He curled into a ball and hoped the dog's handlers arrived before the animals chewed him to pieces.